Hey guys, welcome back to SRE. <clears throat> I was working on this car. This is my 30 degree north uh, roller that I bought that I've been running for a couple of seasons now. You can see I've done some small upgrades to it. I've done uh, aluminum A-arms. Um, uh, you know, the RC Max top plate. Um, Scopod back brace. Um, you know, put some aluminum rims on it, stuff like that. And I had run it a lot last year, and when I got it up on the stand to kind of go through it for this summer, this coming summer for me, I noticed that the front diff was just hosed. I mean, it was like there was no fluid in it at all, so zero resistance. So I pulled that all apart last night. <clears throat> and I put uh, silicone earplugs in it. So now I have silicone earplugs in all three diffs. Um, I'm going to try and get myself a locker uh, for the center here. But right now I've got a 20 a stock uh, pinion gear that came with the truck and a 23 tooth pinion on there. It seems to run really good with that. It's just a uh, uh, SRE38. It runs real strong. It's a lot of fun. I love this pipe. This pipe is a VRC pipe and it's for a Vetka. But I cut it down and made it so it fit in here. It works really, really, really well. Very well. Makes good power. Good power. Even though it's a small pipe. You know, it's it's not in the way. I have a, a, a lot bigger pipe. I was running this Sick Toys pipe on my 30.5, which that made great power on that. Um, I don't know. I got lots of pipes to choose from. But I, I really have a, a, a real liking for this pipe. Um, you do have to shorten the header a little bit from what it is when it's made for the vatka but it, it works it fits right in here it doesn't hit nothing um this goes right out the window of the of the body so seems to work out pretty good for me you can still get to the gas fill the gas tank up so i'm gonna go with it um <clears throat> this is this engine uh, the only thing i've done to this to change it since um it, it was run um, is I put the, one of the small flywheels, the RCMK, the little round flywheels on there, uh, with, uh, let's see, can't remember, I think a Bartolone coil and drop bracket. So, we'll see how that thing, see how that likes those changes. I, I don't know if it will, but we'll see. I believe it will. You know, less rotating mass, it should it might rev up a little quicker, but uh, it'll definitely lose torque probably because of the weight of the flywheel is lighter. So, um, what else did I do to this? Uh, this I changed um, as I broke a couple of these rear drive shafts. But other than that, this thing has been bulletproof. Rear drive shaft and the front diffs seem to be out of you know diff fluid, but I got... A full summer of just pounding on this thing and when I mean pounding on it I mean I I ran it hard I jumped it real high I did everything to it that I could do and um, it worked out great so definitely one of the best uh, roller deals I think out there you know so I just wanted to make a quick vid and let you guys see what I'm up to um, <clears throat> I think the 23 tooth, uh, pinion, uh, works really good with these thinner tires, you know, um, but I do got some, some, uh, wider, uh, tires, some super spikes I might try on it this, this summer. Um, there's the body. You can see it's got the white windows I did on it. It looks pretty cool. So, all right, guys. SRA, just nothing major, just working in here. Figured I'd bring in 
the lab, show you what I'm up to. All right, guys.